Hello guys, welcome once again to Real Tons of Tech YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to answer the questions people have been asking me on PayPal. Because I did a video on how to solve problems in linking bank accounts to PayPal. And since then, I've been receiving several questions on that. And this is the video. And when you go to the comment section, you will see several questions people have been asking about the video. Okay, so today i want to answer all the questions in this video i'm going to explain everything i did that worked for me okay and i was able to not only link my great bank account to paypal i was also able to link my gig pay i was also able to link my other frame bank account to paypal go ahead and share this video so that other people can also benefit from that first let me sign into my paypal account that is the new paypal account that i opened so i enter my email address or my mobile number and my password let me go ahead and fill up these options, then I will log in. So having filled this information, I have to go ahead to log in. All right, let me answer this. Okay, I am a human. And this is my PayPal account. I have verified my profile and I've verified my email remaining to link a bank card or a bank account to this PayPal. Right, so let's go ahead and link a bank card to this PayPal. So whether you've been experiencing an error message or not, just ensure that you patiently watch this video to the end so that you will understand what I did to overcome this challenge. But first, let me show you the error message you might have been encountering while linking your bank accounts to PayPal. So if I go over to this link a bank, I tap on it. Now I'll be asked to link a bank account. So this is just like a United Arab Emirates bank details. So I want to use, or uh, I want to use my gray account for this. I don't have an IBAN number on my gray account. So let me just go down and go to link a US bank instead. I tap on it. Okay, so let me go over to my GRI account and get the account details. So can I also use a gig pay or any other foreign bank account of your choice? Okay, but for me, I want to use my GRI bank details for this. So under account type, I have to select check-in because that's what I have on my GRI account. Now I have two options to fill, which is the routing number and the account number. Okay, let me go over to Gray and get those information. Now, this is my Gray app. I have to tap on it. I go over to Gray. I open it. Okay, so let me log into my Gray account. I allow it to open. Now this is my GRI account to get my GRI bank account number, which is my US bank account number because that's what I want to link to my PayPal. I have to go over to this option. So once I select it, I will see my GRI bank account details. And here is it. Sorry, I have to cover some information for security purposes. And now I have my SEH routing here, which is the routing number. And I have to tap on this icon here so I can copy the routing number. So when I copy it, I go over to my PayPal and on the routing number, I have to paste it there. Sorry, I still have to cover the information there. And I still go back to my GRI account to get the account number. And on that GRI, you can see that the account type is checking. If your own says savings, then you can go ahead and use savings board. I believe that all GRI accounts have checking board. I don't know the one your own have. Just go ahead and check your own information. So the next thing is for me to go over to account number and let me copy this account number here okay i move over to the account number here and i link my bank i tap on link my bank now you can see that i'm having an error message linking my bank account to grid okay you might as well see other error messages now you can see the error message here that we're having trouble making sure it's you. Let me see, go ahead and link my GigPay account. Please just ensure that you watch this video patiently 
to understand everything I will explain in this video, please. All right, so let me go ahead and try linking my GigPay account. I go back. I still go to link a bank. And I scroll down to link a US bank instead down here. All right, so let me go and copy GetPay routing number and account number. All right, this is my GetPay bank app. Let me go ahead and open it. Updates. Okay, so let me log into my GetPay account. And here is it. So the next thing is for me to get my US bank account details. So you will see some options down here that says home, cards, invoice, and account. So I have to go over to account option to get my to get my GigPay US bank details. Account. Under here, I have to go over to account number. You notice that GigPay account number digit is more than gray account number digit. So let me just copy this. I tap on this copy option and I and I come over here on PayPal and paste the account number. Account number should be from three to seventeen digits numbers according to PayPal. So let me see go back to let me see come back here on GetPay and copy the routing number. Routing number. Don't forget that the billing address on GetPay and PayPal, they are not the same because the account I opened on PayPal is United Arab Emirates account, but that doesn't matter, okay? So don't worry about that. Then you can see the name of the bank has appeared here, Wells Fargo, and then go over to link your bank. So when you tap on this link your bank, you can see that you also experience the same error message, but in different way. Now it's saying, we are sorry, we are not able to process your request right now. Please try again later. All right, no problem. If you've experienced all these errors or many more, probably your own is in another language, but the same thing, don't worry. I also experienced the same error message when I first tried to link my bank accounts to PayPal. So this is what I did. First, instead of linking a bank or a card to PayPal, I sent money from my local PayPal account to my foreign PayPal account. When I mean local, I mean my Nigerian PayPal account. In your own case, it might be your own country's PayPal account. So I send money from my local PayPal account to my foreign PayPal account. But if you have someone that can send you money to your foreign PayPal account, no problem. Just have the person to send like maybe $10 or $5 or $2 to your new PayPal account. And don't forget that once you send the money, the money will not reflect immediately. It will first of all hang for some days before it can reflect on your new PayPal account. Then after some days or some months, once you send money into a new PayPal account, it will start reflecting instantly. But in this case, since I have a card that works on PayPal, I don't need anybody to send money to my PayPal account. So I am going to use my local PayPal account to send money to my foreign PayPal account. That means I have to wait for your money to reflect in my main PayPal balance so we can continue this video, all right? All right, I've successfully sent some amount of money to my PayPal account using my Nigerian bank card, okay? That is my Naira bank card. But if you can do that, just tell someone to help you send money to your PayPal account. And if you want me to do a video on how I was able to send money from my local PayPal account using my Naira bank card or any bank card of your choice to your foreign PayPal account, just let me know in the comment section below, okay? So I have some money in my PayPal account right now, which is about 10.91 USD, okay? So next thing is, let me go ahead and link my bank card because even after sending this money to my PayPal account and waiting for some days for the money to reflect in my PayPal account balance, when I still try to link my bank account to PayPal, I was still unable to do that. I was still receiving the same error message. So what I did was, first of all, I linked my bank card to PayPal. And the bank card I linked to PayPal is my gray bank card. To get a gray virtual card, if that is what you wish to use, because you can as well use a GetPay card or any other bank card that work for international transactions. All right, so for gray, to get a virtual card, just go over to this card option below here. So once you tap on it, 
you can see an option to create your own virtual card. So this is my own gray virtual card. If you want to create your own virtual card, you will see an option to create it there if you don't have the card already, okay? To link your card here, just go over to these three lines here, the three horizontal lines there. Go over to this pay and get paid, pay and get paid option. All right, so when you tap on it, you go over to banks and cards. All right, so once you tap on banks and cards, all right, so you now go over here that says link a card. You tap on it. To get this information on gray, if gray card is what you want to use, but not forget that you can as well go ahead and use other cards that work for international transactions. All right, but for gray, for gray, once you tap on this cards option, you now go over to the option that says details. So once you tap on it, you will see your card details showing you your card number the security code and the expiration date, okay? So once you copy that, you have to fill the options on PayPal. So once you copy that, you have to come here and fill the options here. And once you are done, you now go over to link card. Don't forget that the billing address here is not the same as the billing address you have on your gray account, but don't worry, everything will work successfully, okay? So once you enter your debit card details here, your card type will automatically change whether you are using a MasterCard or a Visa card. It will automatically appear here. If it doesn't appear automatically, just delete the last number and type it manually. Just type the last number manually and your card type will appear here automatically. Stating whether you are using a Visa card, a MasterCard or any other card type explained here. We have Visa card, MasterCard, American Express, Discover. Union Pay Dinners Club. So once I don't find these options here, you now go over to Link Card. And you can see that I've successfully linked my bank card to my PayPal account. Please note this. While linking your bank card to PayPal, it will prompt you to verify the bank card. If you want me to make a video on how to link a bank card to PayPal, and as well how to verify your bank card to PayPal, drop it in the comment section below, okay? So once you have linked your bank card to PayPal and verified your bank card on PayPal, because after linking it, you have to go ahead and verify because they will send some code like PP, a series, certain numbers, and code. So there will be a four-digit number that will come before code. So you have to enter that four-digit number to verify your card on PayPal. But I believe that we all understand how to link a bank card to PayPal. Probably the only problem we have here is how to link a bank account to PayPal. So having linked your bank account to PayPal successfully, so the next thing is to link your bank account. So even when I have linked my bank account to PayPal, I tried linking my gray bank account immediately and it wasn't going. I was still experiencing the same error message. Okay, so what I did was I waited for a few days and tried it again. And this time around, it was successful. So let me go ahead and link my bank card to PayPal. Like I said before, I waited several days and I uh, come back to PayPal to try linking my gray bank account again. So let me go over to link a bank. Let me try and see if it will work. Link a bank. Link a US bank instead. Okay, so let me go to gray and copy the routing number and the account number. So you go over here, you tap here. Okay, let me copy my account number and the routing number. Okay, let me go back and copy routing number two. I copy the routing number. Account type as usual is check-in. So I come here and paste the routing number, which they say is a nine digit number. Okay, so I now go over to link your bank. You go over to link your bank. So once you tap on link your bank, you can see that, wow, I have successfully linked my gray bank account details to PayPal. So right now, I can easily withdraw my money to gray from PayPal to gray. So this is my own success story on how I was able to link my gray bank account details. In this case, my gray US bank account details to PayPal. So let me go over to Dawn. 
So when you scroll down to banks, you see that I've linked my bank and I've linked my card to PayPal. So these are all the steps I took to link my great bank account to PayPal. Please, all these videos, we are not recorded in a day. No, I didn't record this video in a day. I did this recording on multiple days because I have to wait for the first stage before going over to the second stage. Okay, everything in this video was not recorded in a day. Just ensure that you follow all the processes explained in this video step by step so you don't make any mistakes. Okay, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give this video a thumbs up and please share this video so that other people can also benefit from that. Drop your questions or your comments in the comment section below and see you in my next video.